Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Kevin. I am the HubSpot hero, and in today's quick video, I wanna show you how you can resize and optimize your images and video so that they will load fast and look great on your website without you having to have or know or use those larger programs like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the tutorial, and um, yeah, let's, let's just <laughs> let's go for it. One of the common questions that I always get is, hey Kevin, what size image should I use for this hero banner? And it's a great question, one you should be asking, because the last thing that you wanna do is go to a stock photo website or a stock video website, download the high resolution video or image file that they give you, and then re-upload that to your website because that is going to really slow down the performance of your website and make it super laggy when someone goes to visit it. So in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you these two really cool free online tools that I've found and would recommend that you experiment with when you want to optimize your imagery. So let's start with a photo first. What we're gonna do is pretend we went to say unsplash.com and we found some awesome scenic image that we wanna use, but the file size and the general like actual size of it is huge. What we're gonna do is go and visit pickresize.com. This is just a free tool that I found that like actually does a pretty good job and allows some really easy options. So first thing we're gonna do is drag or click here. We are going to find our huge photo and then upload that. Before we do, I wanna point out one thing. You notice this, uh, this file right here is 4.3 megabytes. Uh, in file size, and that is huge, and that is not what we want on our website. We want that much, much lower. So we'll go ahead and open this puppy up, let that load up, and say continue to edit the picture. Maybe wait a few seconds. Okay, so here you're gonna have a, a bunch of different options that I'm not gonna go through right now, but if you needed to crop the photo, um, say you found an awesome photo and it's a square, but you wanna crop it down, that is where you can do that. For any of the hero images, I highly recommend using landscape like ratio photos, or if you find a square, make sure you crop it down so that it is, has that more of a, a landscape proportion. We don't have to worry about that here. So what we can do is close this ad, first and foremost. Go down here to custom size. And all we wanna worry about is the width. And we're gonna set that to 1920 pixels. The height will automatically adjust to whatever the ratio of the photo is. So we don't need to touch this at all. Then we can go down here and we can choose the image format. We always wanna use JPEG for images that don't have any sort of transparent backgrounds. So we'll select JPEG. For quality, I would recommend going with better or even good. Um, that's just a really, I don't know, good is gonna be great for this use case. Once we're done, we'll just hit resize my photo. And then we're gonna come over here and we can already see that this new photo size is now uh, 298 kilobytes, which is way, way, way better. For an image that's going to be in that like hero banner of your website, you wanna make sure those images are well below 500 kilobytes. Closer to two or 300 is like a really, really great spot to be. After you're done here, simply well, we can either view the image um, so you can see what it looks like or save to your desktop and it'll download right there. And you can go ahead and use that file and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. So this tool, super helpful, pickresize.com. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I just found this cool tool and I've been recommending it to a, a few people and it seems to be really easy to use despite how ad crazy it is. <laughs> Okay, next, we're gonna talk about video. 
Now, this one is especially crucial because whenever you download a variety of videos from different stock websites, they might come in a variety of formats. Sometimes you might get the 4K version, which is huge, um, both in size and file size, or sometimes you'll get the full HD version, both of which you do not want loading on your website. You want to bring these file sizes down quite a bit. So I found this great tool called keepvid.com that will help us resize our videos and compress them so we can get that file size down a whole heck of a lot lower. So here, we'll just go ahead and click I'm gonna go ahead and find my huge video movie. As you can see, this file is 623 and a half megabytes, which is massive. Again, we do not want this file loading on our website. So we'll go ahead and click open. Once we've logged in or signed up, we're just gonna simply come over here and click the plus and then go find our huge video file. We'll open this puppy up, let this file load, that was quick. And then we wanna come over here to compress. One important note that I'll make is if you end up downloading a really long um, time-wise video file that's over 15 seconds long, say like around 30 seconds, you're gonna to wanna to potentially trim it down. Um, anything over 15 seconds can really increase your file size. So one other thing that you can do to reduce that file size is just limit the length of the clip. But for all intents and purposes, we're gonna go ahead and click compress. We're gonna come over here and select low. Now, you can see right here, it says 178 megabytes. We definitely want it lower than that, but this is at least gonna give us one step in the right direction. So I'll say start now, let that do its thing, snap my fingers and it'll be done. Now that that's finished converting, what we can see here is what we got the file size down to. We got it down to 183 megabytes roundabout. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and download this file, uh, save it to our desktop. And now what we're gonna wanna do with the same tool is go through and convert the file again. Basically we wanna compress it one more time. Our goal is to get this video file size down under 10 megabytes and it's totally doable. So as you can see here, even if I open this up, the quality that we're looking at here is still really good. It doesn't, it hasn't lost a ton of quality, especially as a background video is concerned. So what you'd wanna do is just go through the same process, upload that puppy, hit compress, and then select the lowest file size. You might have to do it a third time. It really depends upon how many or how large of a original file size that you're working with. But as far as video compression tools, this has been one of the best ones that I've found that'll do the trick and you don't have to pay for it. So with that, I'm out. I hope this is helpful and is going to help you make your website awesome, load fast, and look great. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment, shoot me an email, or hit me up on my chat. With that, I'm out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.